In the uh, mid to late 70s, an all-girl band, The Runaways, proved they could hold their own and make a huge impact on rock and roll. Although the group broke up in 1979, the original members remained close. And now a memorial created by Cherie Curry to her dear friend Sandy West resides in the seaside village of Dana Point. Maria Hall Brown talked with the singer-turned-artist. Mere children at the time, the Runaways rewrote the way the music world defined girl bands. Bold, talented, and only in their teens, lead singer Cherie Curry, drummer Sandy West, and rhythm guitarist Joan Jett stuck together even after the band broke up. We grew up together, you know. Uh, I was 15 when I joined the band. Sandy was 16. Uh, all the major uh, things kids go through we went through together and we were on the road so we were a family and she was my sister and uh, and then as after I quit the band we still remained very very close all the way until the, the time she passed and uh, I mean she helped paint my house she helped me move twice <laughs> anytime I did a show she was always the one I had to have drum because being on stage without Sandy West was literally why even bother so when she passed, there's such a huge void for all of us and because we did want a reunion and we wanted it not just for Sandy, we wanted it for all of us. Um, and it was just very sad that it didn't happen in time. Sandy West succumbed to cancer in 2006, but now a memorial to her life and her talents created by Cherie sits outside a Dana Point music store. Sandy was an exam example of human greatness. And I'm honored that I, that I had her in my life. I love you, Sandy. Thank you very much. Curry, who still performs music, discovered several years ago another artistic passion, chainsaw sculpture, creating art out of wood. Her gallery in Chatsworth, California showcases her work, but this special commission holds her heart. To be asked to do something this huge for me was, uh, it really t tested my ability as an artist because Sandy just deserves the best. Um, you know, it took me on a trip for a very long time. And I mean, I really believe she was with me during the entire process of this, including the monument. Uh, nothing has ever been as important to me as this piece. And uh, I just don't want Sandy ever forgotten. Sadly true. But Sandy's story in the sculpture has launched an effort to help others fighting cancer. As I got to know the story of Sandy and her battle with cancer, um, I thought, you know, this is a great opportunity to just do something good to make the, the, the city of Dana Point aware of cancer, you know. And as it grew, it grew into a concert, it grew into a benefit for a, a young man named Craig Brandmeyer, who's one of our neighbor's uh, sons who's battling cancer right now as we speak. In Dana Point, I'm Maria Hall Brown, Real Orange. And Kenny's Music Store and the Sandy West Sculpture are off Pacific Coast Highway near Golden Lantern in Dana Point. Although the Runaways will not have that hoped-for reunion concert, a feature film about the group is currently in production, and Joan Jett will perform this year at the Orange County Fair.